Hey everyone, welcome back to Emerald Doom Miniatures. My name is Deets. Recently I painted up this fourth edition chalk floor on Great Taurus, but it was missing something. I got a few comments from people saying it isn't complete without a banner. So today I'm gonna paint up a really cool retro bright 90s banner. So let's get into it. So throughout the years, some Warhammer models have had some really cool retro banners. So today I decided to show you guys how I'm gonna make retro 90s bright banner based on the original artwork, as you can see here. But if you haven't seen my previous video of me painting up this Chalf Lord, go check that out now, then come back to it. This is kind of like a part two of the Chalf Lord journey. So here's some of the things you'll need to make this 90s banner. So you'll need a plastic rod. I'm using a spear from an Age of Sigma kit that I've never really used before. A ruler, preferably a large one, not like this. A hobby or scalpel knife. Your trusty snips. A sharp Stanley knife. Some scissors. A marker and an empty soft drink can. Now don't be a grub, make sure you wash this out before you start doing this. Cut each end of the can with a Stanley knife, being extremely careful where you place your hands. Now always make sure the blade is sharp and let it do most of the work. If you're gonna hack at it, you'll probably cut yourself, so be very, very careful with this and just take your time. Once both ends are removed, grab your scissors and chop down the middle. What we want here is a nice and not too dinted piece of aluminium. So just take your time and be careful with it. Next, we're gonna tidy up the edges and make them square. So grab your ruler and line it up straight and carefully use your Stanley knife to chop off the messy edges. So here's a hot tip. If you have a hobby map like this, use the grid pattern, it makes life much easier. Now I measured up my banner by loosely looking at the box art and kind of putting a ruler up to my model and judging how big I want it to be. We are looking at around 30 mil high by 45 mil wide. I marked this out in the sheet of aluminium, again, using the grid as a guide on my cutting mat. After this, I trimmed out the flag with scissors, and here's my little banner flag shape. I used the back of my pen to give it a little bit of a wave. You can do this later, but I recommend doing it before you paint, because if you start bending it, you might get some warp or cracks in the paint job. Now the chalk banner I'm basing this off was pretty special, and it had a little zigzag pattern. So I measured this out, marked out the triangles, and then chopped them out evenly with my scissors, really taking my time and trying not to cut too much into the flag. Remember this can be pretty sharp, so just be careful. Now on the box, the banner was wrapped around a pole with some little gaps. I wanted to have the same look, so again, I measured in about 5mm to a few spots and then chopped out the insides with the scissors. And then using my scalpel, I carefully scored the hard to get parts. I then just loosened them up with my fingers until they snapped off. Now moving on to the banner pole, and like I said, I just had a spear from an old kit I wouldn't use. You can use a plastic rod or whatever works for you. I had to trim some of the hands off, so I gave it a bit of a sand as well, and then just trim the spear tip off. I then carefully wrapped the little tag bits around the banner pole until I was happy. This part wasn't as easy as it looks, but just keep at it and you make it work. So I was extremely lucky with this because the legend who sent me this chorf actually sent me some sculpts of the original skulls that are on top of the banner. You could just use random skull bits or whatever you want for this. I drilled out a little hole in the bottom of the skull. As it was made from green stuff, it was a little brittle, so I did a couple pilot holes first and then just built up the size of the hole until it was big enough. Then it was just a case of super gluing it all together. I only used a small amount of glue and slid the banner into place to where I wanted it. And then I stuck on the skulls. Now for a prime, so I just stuck it down using some blue tack, took it outside for a squirt of paint. You want to use white or a really light colour prime for this as we'll need to sketch on a rough outline of the artwork. Okay, so the banner is now made and now it's time for the hard part, the painting. Now preparation is always the key to success, so let's prep the painting area with some paper towel. The reason why I do this is because I'll be moving the banner around a fair bit and if it was on a hard surface, you'd scratch all that primer off and paint on the other side. So just putting down a soft surface just to move around is just the best way not to lose any paint. Now we're gonna bust out a pencil and do a super rough sketch of what you want on the banner. This doesn't have to be a good drawing, it can just be very rough. You can use a ruler to center things if you like, but just be careful not to scratch that white primer off. Again, I'm basing this off the original banner, but I'm just doing a simpler version of it. Old school banners are loud and wacky, so that's what I'm gonna do with this one. I put on a little volcano in the middle, and then I do some badass lightning bolts coming out of the volcano, and then I just mark where I want my skulls to sit on the bottom. And now it's time to start painting, and I just water these paints down a little bit, but I do want them very bold. I threw down some blue on the outside area of the flag, 
And what I do with my brush is let it make the straight lines by slowly rotating my wrist. This can take some practice, but by halfway of painting this thing, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. It doesn't matter if you go over somewhere you didn't want the paint, just go over it with white and clean it up. Next up, I throw down some maroon for the inside square and the volcano. And then I use some yellow just for the lightning bolts. Not worrying if I make a mess. I can clean this up later. I'd actually rather make these shapes larger than small because I'll be going over the black later and cleaning it all up. I then throw on some of the bone color for the little skulls and do some little skull shapes. And just like mini painting, I'll be adding in some highlights and building up the brightness to these colors. I'm not gonna go for some crazy realistic artwork on this banner. I'm just gonna keep it fun, bold and 90s. I add some red and then add some orange for some highlights. And then after this, I go for some light blue on the outside just to give the blue something to look at. After this, I mix in some white to the bone and sketch on some highlights for the skulls. I give them a rough outline to where I think the eyes and noses will be. Now after that's all done, it's time to add some black and this is where the shape of it will all start to appear. For another colour banner, you could use dark blue or green for this. I go around everything with black and using a skinny brush, take my time to shape everything. I mark out my lightning bolts using straight lines and then go around the skulls. This is the part where you should really take your time and be super careful because it's always hard to clean the black up. Once I'm happy, I sketch on some eyes, noses and teeth to the skulls, then highlight with some white to their brow lines and their teeth. I give the lightning a yellow shade and then add some streaks to the little flying rocks. After that's all done, I then use a toothpick and some white and just add dots around for stars. Then I painted the flagpole and the skulls on top, glued into place and it was pretty much done. One other thing to note is that you can apply a clear coat to this. I'd probably do that before I stick it on just to protect it. Now this banner is a little bit more durable than a paper banner so you're going to get a few more years out of it. But anyway, here it is, my 90s inspired banner. Thanks so much for sticking around guys and if you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you think and I'll see you next time. Cheers.